Hi, I'd like to talk about transfection and electroporation, which is basically the effect that electricity has on uh, red blood cells to cause them to be more permeable, to absorb more of extra stuff that's floating in the uh, bl blood serum, uh, such as strong chemical substances, either natural or synthetic. Uh, for instance, uh, the caffeine from coffee nicotine from smoking, aspirin, uh, strong amounts of vitamin D, and other certain other substances that can be uh, too strong for the blood cells if they absorb too much. So the idea with blood electrification with uh, a device such as my microbe electrifier is to uh, manipulate the frequency and the uh, wave shape so that the uh, the patient can uh, can can have a um, a non dangerous uh, experience and get the effects they want as far as zapping the uh, microbes that are circulating in the blood. If you notice on the micro black fire, I've got a, a, a switch out here that says DW and SW. The DW stands for damped wave and the SW stands for square wave. And I've got three different frequencies you can you can select 4, 10, or 40 hertz. Hertz is a scientific word that means uh, cycles per second. If you look at um, if you look at the uh, the wave shapes the electromedicine devices output you will see that they can they can vary um, a square wave is what a normal Beck blood electrifier puts out a sine wave is what the uh, AC voltage at your house is a triangle square wave is just what you see right here and a modified square wave is a square wave that has the transition from one polarity to the other modified so that it's uh, it's more gradual and less uh, less shocking as a result so what this all boils down to is how much uh, transfection it causes this graph out here is a very useful graph because it shows the uh, the effects of a square wave, uh, a sine wave, and a triangle wave. The square wave being the most uh, causing the most transfection. So um, if you look at this scale, this is the uh, the hertz scale, the the frequency scale. This is approximately four hertz right here. This vertical line right here. So at 4 hertz, the square wave is causing about 20,000 on the uh, transfection scale. And at 10 hertz, it's causing about 400. And 40 hertz, it's causing about 80. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty radical change from 20,000 to 80. So um, many people shy away from using the, the the original Beck blood electrifier that outputs 4 hertz square wave because of so much transfection. And maybe they're smoking, maybe they're drinking coffee, maybe they're taking aspirin every day, maybe they're taking high dosages of vitamins uh, or herbs, and they don't want to toxify their blood as a result, which is reasonable. And so if they, uh, if they use a modified square wave, it would be somewhat in between these two curves. It would be a, a pretty a decent reduction. Also, if you, uh, as you increase the frequency, you get a drastic reduction in transfection. Even though I do have to say that 4 hertz square wave will, it is the most efficacious as far as fighting microbes. The others are less, not horribly less. Um, with 40 hertz it's probably about, um, you probably have to 
do it about 30 or 40 percent more time so it's a it's a time time factor thing to make up for it uh, so that is basically what it's all about is transfection and the um, the waveform I hope this has helped you to understand if you have any questions let me know